Hi everybody, um, I don't know if you are aware, but KOA recently went through and took the resources from quite a few players who had either were buying resources illegally or had in the past. Um, here, here's the Facebook posting. Um, as you can see, they just put a short list up here. Now, I'm going to click on this link. It's going to actually bring us to a much, much, much larger... Uh, you, I, you know what? I'm sorry. I could see a lawsuit happening because of this because they call it the resource cheat list. And they are actually putting people up on this list and posting it for everybody to see, which looks bad on the alliance that this person belongs in. Um... Personally, I could foresee a lawsuit happening because of the slander. But, you know, it's a mobile game, not a lawyer. But I would not be surprised if a lawsuit does happen because of this. But as you can see, they have a mighty, mighty, mighty long list of people who have bought resources. Now, what they don't have is the resource sellers and the bot farms. Those are still in function, which kind of negates this purpose. Um, it, it's so stupid. I mean, I know, I know one of the guys from my kingdom got busted. But, I mean, it, it's... They should not have done it like this. They should not have made a massive list and put people out there. And and I'm thinking the people that are on their Facebook post, the specific people that they pointed out are probably the ones who have bought so much so much and resources. It's ungodly. But I mean, if they fix the iron and silver issue, then maybe people wouldn't have to buy outside resources. But as of right now, that's two of the hoarder, hoard, hardest bleh, sorry hardest resources to come along in game but I, I just I wanted to show you as you can see there's 505 508 um, I actually saw some in 511 which I have a castle like two people in 511 um, but as you, could, as you could see, they literally posted this entire list for everybody to see. So please, guys, whatever you do, don't buy resources from a resource dealer. You don't want to end up on this list. They will take all the resources you have that are open. Um, they took... The guy who got busted, they took all of his food, wood, iron, and silver, which he didn't buy the iron or silver, but they just took it anyways. Which means their their way of finding resource dealers is flawed. I mean, resource buyers is flawed. Um, when confronted, when to help, uh, when the support system was confronted about this, uh, they said that somebody had reported this person. And there's only like a handful of people who knew apparently. So, I mean, you really, if you're going to buy resources, don't tell anybody. Just don't say anything. Personally, avoid the trouble. Look, 511, Chinese player. Um, that was random. Just better safe than sorry. Just don't buy resources altogether because it's not worth. I mean, this guy had almost all the resources he needed to push 30. I mean, it, it was pretty, pretty harsh. And then they took another girl's resources who did, who's never bought resources. She actually pays for the packs in game through, through KOA. They took, uh, I think she said she had 40 million wood in her bag. She accidentally opened too much, which it happens. It really does. I've calculated it to the T and pulled out more than I should have. And I thought I had it calculated. But, yeah. I will post this link in the video description. If anybody wants to see who from what kingdom. Or you can just go to their Facebook page. King of Avalon. I'm going to copy the link real quick. And if you want to further look. 
they actually have li a list organized by kingdom. Um, the July list. Which I think is stupid. It really is. It, it only goes up to just under 400. So... I don't know. I think, I think personally, the way they went about it was stupid. Um, yeah, they're, they're hitting people who've bought the resources, but they're not doing anything about the bots. Or, they're not doing anything about the bots or the resource dealers themselves. And trust me, I know about the bots because my kingdom has a huge problem with bot farms. But I've, I've sent screenshots, I've reported the bots, and nothing happens because they're like, oh, we have an algorithm that's supposed to detect this. And I'm thinking, oh, your algorithm, your algorithm is crap. Uh, I could probably write a better freaking alg algorithm to find bots or just have a castle in every kingdom and find them. They're not hard to find at all. Uh, but uh, it wasn't going to be... <laughs> Sorry guys, I made this video kind of long with my rambling. Um, Y'all have a good day.